Yes, guys, I think everyone is aware about this, that there is a announcement from ICAI regarding the implementation of the new syllabus within your scheme. Now, I'm not here to educate you about the new syllabus. I think you people are very well aware. You are very well informed. There are multiple YouTube videos you have seen apart from the ICA's own circular and the entire write up about the new syllabus you have been already aware of. Now, I will only constrain myself to only speak about this particular topic of financial reporting. In the topic of financial reporting, which is your, which continues to be your paper number one, even under new syllabus, now most of them have an impression that did it undergo a significant change? Has there been a significant change? Absolutely not. There can't be a significant change because those indices which was applicable even in the old syllabus will anyway stand relevant and which was consisting of more than 90% of your syllabus. So therefore, the changes here, which we will understand as a part of your paper number one, are very, very minimal, minute and insignificant. However, there are certain changes. However, there are certain changes. I will start talking about the most minute of the change which has occurred with respect to your new syllabus because your study material is already out on I, your ICA BOS website. Clear? So, I will only restrict myself to talk about this topic of financial reporting, which is your paper number one. And how is it different from the old syllabus is my point of discussion. I hope I've made it very, very clear. I'm not talking about the entire new syllabus as a whole. The first change, a funny change is with respect to the colors being used in the, in the you know, entire uh, study material which was published. Absolutely fine. I think good new colors is always good white for us. So there is no change as far as the content is concerned to a major extent. But let's deep dive and let's see the most minute of the change that has occurred as far as the new syllabus is concerned, dealing with from topic to topic. Got it? Now, let's understand the changes. When we look at the change from the old syllabus to the new syllabus, the new syllabus will start applying from May 2024 onwards. However, if you would have studied under the old syllabus and trying to appear the exam in the new syllabus, you people have nothing to worry about because you are exactly on the same track even as the new syllabus is concerned. Now, if I broadly look at the perspective, how it has come up, you need to understand the first thing that there are 17 chapters in the new syllabus. It continues to be the same even as per the old syllabus as well. The next one is there are 36 Indias, which is the same thing even applicable for the old syllabus and the new syllabus. The same exclusions of those four standards which were there earlier will continue to stay as per the new syllabus as well. What are those exclusions? Number one is your insurance contracts under India's 104, your exploration and evaluation of mineral resources under India's 106, your India's 29 which talks about your hyperinflation and 114 which talks about regulatory deferral accounts. Now, regulatory deferral accounts is a very, very complete different concept. I don't want to bring in here. Insurance and mineral rights are industry specific standards. Hyperinflation in general sense, not applicable to India. In general sense, not applicable to India. Then why did we have it? We had it because India is an international reporting standard, which is derived from the IFRS. There could be multiple parts in the world which are facing a severe hyperinflation situation. Therefore, that topic of hyperinflation was there even under Indies, but not applicable to your syllabus because it is not relevant as far as your uh, uh, Indian environment is concerned. Lastly, in total, we have 1,355 problems. This 1,355 problems here includes examples, illustrations, test your knowledge. All the three things put together, we have 1,355 questions. That is a lot of them. But were they the same in number even under the old syllabus? Now, I would say in and about in the same. It is almost the same with respect to the old syllabus. There's no significant additions or significant deletions which have happened even with respect to the problems as well. 
in broadly, if I talk about the changes which have occurred, you need to understand first what are the additions which have come in. Because that is the first most thing which is scaring us. Oh, what got New syllabus. Is it going to be very new? Absolutely no. You need to understand that the additions are only with respect to two things. Number one, two new topics have come into picture. We will understand what those two new topics are. But in broader sense, if you look at one is the ethicals, ethics which have uh, you know very recently come in. Other one is another very, very new chapter or a small chapter with respect to the recent changes which have been occurring in the environment, which is more with respect to the fintech industry, uh, that is financial technology industry is what got added. Uh, both of them are more or less theoretical aspects and more of them, more, most of the situations you can only expect that these two topics can be tested for not more than four to eight marks. You cannot expect more than four to eight marks coming out of those two topics because in fundamental sense, those two topics are very, very small topics. As far as your ethics are concerned, your auditing ethics somewhere gets, uh, you know, overlapping with this. Yes, to an extent, whatever you read under your paper number two, your audit and ethics, those ethics will also be a part of your financial reporting now. 13 new problems got added. Out of 1,355 problems overall in your syllabus, 13, just 13, less than 10%, less than 1% of the questions have been added new. But somewhere we have to also find a breather. And like, okay, so many additions you're talking about, two additions, no problem, we will deal with it. But is there some kind of a relief which I get with seeing the deductions as well? If I look at the deductions as a whole, there are two topics again which got deducted. These two topics which were a part of your old syllabus continue to no longer be a part of the new syllabus. The first one is CSR. Your corporate social responsibility topic has been completely eliminated. So that means they are expecting you to be well versed with CSR, which is already a part of corporate law. So corporate law has been converted into your self-learning modules. So I think they are going to cover it there. So as far as the financial reporting paper is concerned, this topic is completely eliminated. Integrated reporting. Integrated reporting is a new style of reporting which has been emerging over 2015s and 16s as of now being only made recommended and not mandatory at all. They are not mandatory. Yes, large enterprises in India are also resorting to this integrated reporting. Now, it, the, the integrated reporting is also being amended in outside world with something called as ESG reporting. So it's a complete different world which is coming up right now. The integrated reporting even ICA understood is being, uh, you know, already being left out by the industry. So that is the two new old topics which got eliminated. But at the same time, there are 16 old problems which got eliminated. So 16 removed and 13 added net effect if you observe you still are actually solving three lesser problems compared to the old syllabus now. Now, this is a broad change with respect to the topics and the problems involved in your study material of the new syllabus. Now, let's deep dive into topic wise. Let's look at topic wise and what are the changes which have occurred from each topic to topic. Now, if I look at topic to topic, the first topic being introduction to NDAs, how NDAs has come in, what are car wins, what are car votes, what is the accounting standards board, how are they constituting it, everything remains the same, never being tested, but still stays as it is. Now, the conceptual framework, your NDAs 1, these topics have not undergone any change. As far as NDAs 34, your interim financial statements are concerned, two test your knowledge questions got added while one test your knowledge question got deleted. Net addition is only one. The other topic is with respect to your cash flow statement. As cash flow statement, in general sense, we don't normally uh, give a lot of effect, you know, a lot of emphasis to because we expect you know you to know cash flow statements right in your CA inter level itself or the intermediary level itself, because there it is a very important topic. Coming down into CA final, we don't normally assume it to be a very important topic, but we have seen one addition in test your knowledge with respect to cash flow statement. I would expect you people to answer that test your knowledge question very easily because the addition is a very, very basic question. Right? 
So that is with respect to cash flow statement and interim financial statements, these two topics where there has been a change. Sorry about that. Yep. Now your index eight, which stay, which talks about accounting policies, accounting estimates, and errors. Accounting errors, accounting estimates. We have already discussed about a change which came as per company's accounting standard amendment rules 2023. That is covered under our amendments topic. Please refer to that. Now that is the change which has already been done. So as far as the new syllabus is concerned, there is no change with respect to the uh, standard. No change with respect to the questions. But in days 10, which is your events occurring after balance sheet, after the balance sheet date, one test your knowledge got included, while two examples got uh, one example and one test your knowledge got deleted. So net effect, we have only minus one. That means we are solving one problem lower than what we used to solve earlier. In days 113, which is your fair value measurement or fair valuation uh, standard, there is one uh, addition in the illustration. And under index 115, which happens to be a very, very important topic and has a significant weightage of at least 8 to 12 marks, your revenue recognition, revenue from contracts with customers, there is one example which got added. Now, as far as your Division 2 Schedule 3 is concerned, there's no change at all. It's the same thing. Now, look at this. All asset-related standards. In days 2, 16, 36, 38, 40 remain the same. There's no change. The only change which has occurred here as per the first eight standards of asset, there are two more asset standards, right? So that one change is with respect to index 23, borrowing cost, where two illustrations got added. Index 16, property plan and equipment, no additions. Index 36, sorry, index uh, 2, inventory, no additions. 36, intangible, sorry, impairment of assets, no additions. 38, intangible assets, no additions. 40, your Investment property, no additions. Only the borrowing cost uh, standard has changed. But remember, we have two more standards under assets. Never forget that in days 105, which is non current assets held for sale and discontinued operation, together with in days 116, which is leases. Let's understand if there is a change in both of them. You'll observe that in days 116, with respect to leases, there are five illustrations which are deleted. So it is as such a lengthy standard. There's no harm in covering the previously deleted standard uh, examples as well. If that gives you a better clarity of understanding, we are more than happy. Please learn as many examples as possible because the conceptual understanding of your standard is very, very important. Now that brings us to the end of assets. Now look at the India's 41, which is your agriculture standard. One illustration which got added. With respect to India's 20, that is with respect to government grants and disclosure of government assistance, there are two sub points being added within a particular, uh, you know, test your knowledge question number eight. So as such, the question did not change, the answer did not change, just that they gave two additional points into it. You can't consider that as an addition, but still, I just wanted to highlight even the most minute of change which has occurred in your syllabus. Now, India's 102, which is your share based payments a very very important topic constantly tested topic you have two deletions one with respect to examples and one with respect to your test your knowledge now those are very important guys you are 19 and 37 which are your liability related standards 19 is your employee benefits which is a liability related standard there's no change in days 37 provisions contingent assets and contingent liabilities you have a change there is one added example and then one deleted test your knowledge question. India 12, which is your income tax, again, a very, very important standard. You find a lot of times it is being tested upon. There are three illustrations which got added into this topic. It's a very, very important topic and we have to understand those changes. As far as India 21 is concerned, your foreign exchange rates or effect of changes in foreign exchange rate, there's no change as far as the understanding of the concept is concerned or with respect to examples, illustrations, and test your knowledge questions are concerned. In days 24, which is with respect to your related party disclosure, another very important standard, you have two examples which got deleted. They were repetitive examples. They got deleted. There's no significant deletion even in this matter as well. 
India's 33 EPS, India's 108 operating segment. Again, important topics. No change at all with respect to the topic, neither with respect to your illustrations, examples, and test your knowledge questions. Financial instruments, that is our alpha topic. Alpha topic of CA financial reporting. Because most important, most tested, highest of weightage. Now that topic, if you observe, remains unchanged even with respect to the questions just that there are two deletions within the topic with respect to the illustrations as such other than that you find that there is no change everything as it is what it was there under old syllabus is replicated into your new syllabus as well 103 which is your business combinations again a very important topic you can consider it as you know the secondary to financial instruments or india's 115 topics this topic has an addition in your test your knowledge. It's very important because there is every chance that it can be tested because you don't find many exam papers without testing your index 103. That is your business combination. So pay enough attention to that new addition as well. Now, as far as your consolidated financial statements is concerned, on a whole, if I look at it is a combination of five standards, 27, 28, 110, 111, 112. Five standards as a whole. So 27, 28, 110, 111, 112. So all put together, you observe that there is no change, one addition and one deletion. Those are those two are with respect to illustrations. As such, the total number of questions will still remain the same. Those additional questions have to be understood very well because there's only one addition and there's a high chance of it appearing in exam in May or November 2024 itself because it has been a topic which has been regularly tested upon. Now, as far as your last topics are concerned, 101, which is your first time adoption of financials of India's in financial statements, there's no change. Analysis of financial statements, which are the first place where you find case studies. There's no other case study topic anywhere throughout. And there are seven case studies under analysis of financial statements, even in the old syllabus or in the new syllabus. And those remain exactly the same. There's no other place where the case studies have been included in the entire topic. I know most of them might be wondering new syllabus, new case studies, absolutely no. It's the same case studies that have we had under analysis of financial statements. It's not a new topic at all because it is just a combination of all the index put together, put into one particular problem where you start testing on more than one standard and one problem has been included in analysis of financial statements. That is one place. Now the last two are the additions which we have. One is professional and ethical duty of chartered accountants. I think this topic has been recently included because chartered accountants name has been everywhere wherever there is a scam which has been coming up. So I think they are trying to emphasize a little more on the reporting ethics that you have to show or your professional ethics which you have to display while discharging your duty as a chartered accountant. So the institute expects you to know the ethics not just as a part of your auditing but also as a topic within your financial reporting as well technology and accounting i think this is the most relevant topic of the entire syllabus because we have to understand that increasingly technology is taking over our jobs or our uh, the, the tasks that we do most of the tasks that we do today are being done with the help of technology where we are not being uh, you know we are not able to find new ways of actually uh, making some ev avenues of revenue because technology has been replacing our repetitive jobs yes where your skill is involved then there is no chance that any ai can actually take in your place but technology has been growing significantly your tally has been replaced with n number of ai driven accounting softwares now new ones are even more coming up so please watch out for that technology space it's a Again, theory topic, just to make sure you people are aware how technology is actually affecting you. So this is the topic that the two, two new topics which got added in place of CSR and integrated reporting. Now that is all as far as the change in syllabus is concerned. We have no further changes in the syllabus. These are the only changes that we have. Now, as far as the new additions are concerned, I will make sure that the video on the each of those addition where discussing the solution of it will be put up and it will be shared to people who have subscribed for the classes. Thank you. 
and I'll make sure that I'll reach out to you with more updates if any come up before uh, you know uh, your exams or even after your exams. You'll always keep this channel live. Please make sure that you keep coming up with new doubts. Whatever you have, don't feel hesitant to post it. But as far as the new syllabus is concerned, I now and I know hope that everyone watching this video is rest assured that there is no significant change as far as the new syllabus is concerned compared to the old one. So all those people who have been studying the old syllabus want to appear for May 2024 under new syllabus. You can be rest assured it will not take more than one day or in eight hours of an effort to go through those new topics, which I'll anyways help you in understanding the topic far better. Clear?